A production line manufactures a thousand resistors and it must satisfy a 10% tolerance. So let's start writing this out. We know that we have 1000 resistors that we need to manufacture. So 1000 resistors, it needs to have 10% tolerance. We can let the random variable X, so we'll do random equals X, make sure you're separating all these represent the resistance of a resistor. Now assume that X is Gaussian. So we're going to be using the Gaussian part with a mean of 1000 ohms and standard deviation of S equaling to 40. What fraction of resistors is expected to be rejected? So we want to find the probability of rejection. We know that Gaussian has like a graphical kind of representation, right? So we can write out something like this, and we know that it's going to go some point looking like this. And we know that this right here is going to be our mean. And this space in here is controlled by the uh, standard deviation. So standard deviation squared. Now, we want to solve for this, right? This mean is going to be a thousand. It tells us this, so a thousand ohms of resistance. 10% in either direction is either going to be the probability that X is less than 900 or the probability that X is greater than 1100. Now you can notice that in both ways there is symmetry. So it's essentially the same thing. What this means is that we only need to solve for one side and then multiply it by two. So pick whatever side you feel comfortable with. For me, I'm just going to do the P rejection for the 1100 side. So I'm going to set this equal to the probability of X being greater than or equal to 1100. Now, this is going to be equal to two times our Q value, right? So Q is going to be the 1,100 minus the mean. So 1,000 divided by 40. This equation is really like P, X. Um, actually, this shouldn't be greater than or equal to. It should just be greater than, like how we have it right here. We have the probability of X. And then inside of here, we have it being greater than 1,100. So that's just important to note right there probability of x greater than some value, it's equal to q, and then here we have our x minus the mean, x is going to be like this value that we have here, our mean, and this is going to be over a uh, standard deviation like this. So once we plug all of this in, we're going to get approximately uh, 2 times, or 2 times q of 2.5. And if we look at the notes that are in the description below the like button, we are going to have this table of Q functions. We're looking for 2.5. So we want to find X of 2.5. That's going to be this one right here. So 6.209 times E raised to negative 3. If we multiply that by 2, we are going to get approximately a 0 0.0124 and remember this Q right here for 2.5 is going to be so I'll actually do this whole thing this whole part is going to be approximately 6.2097 with an E of negative 0 0.03 so we're gonna get this now if we want it in percentage what it says what fraction of resistors is expected to be rejected um, this would actually be the fraction right here in, in decimal form but this would be 1.2% the fraction of it is just going to be uh, 124 divided by, if we move the decimal places over, so we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, that means we'll have 1,000 like this. We can test that in the calculator as well, so we do 124 divided by 1,000, and you get 1 off, so it should be actually be 10,000. So 124 over 10,000 is our that's our fraction notation. It says what fraction of resistors is expected to be rejected. So this is the probability of rejection. And that's how we would look at this problem.